what I'm doing here is I'm finding the right size hole saw to uh, cut a hole through the top of this um, little plastic um, container here that's going to be the coolant reservoir vent but I'm going to put the uh, pump in there so um, I'm just fitting up the fit in there I'm putting a bit of thread tape put a Teflon thread tape on the thread there just give it a bit of a good seal and uh, I'll put it in the top of the the pump uh, there's no need to sort of do it up too tight just uh, really firm uh, just thread in the pipes in through and uh, onto the top of the, the pump there but if it's on pretty well you know if it, if it's really if it's a really cold day you might have a bit of trouble getting that on so just warm it up and uh, you know with it with some hot water the end of the pipe that is and it'll go on a lot easier so if you notice the the tank is a third full of water there and that's uh, distilled water uh, or if you have rain water you can use that uh, and then you put uh, a third of antifreeze in and then a second or well, third 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 of um, clean fresh water again no chemicals in the water other than the coolant the coolant's there for two purposes uh, we live in Tasmania and it does get frosty it is possible to freeze and more importantly I suppose equally as important um, inside the spindle housing itself um, it's basically 90% stainless steel uh, you know with the galleries and everything but there are aluminium parts in there okay so this control box is actually made of aluminium this is made military grade and these are all um, actually Air Force, uh, not Air Force, but should we say aviation plugs. Okay, so everyone's labelled. So we're going to start off with the bottom row down here. Start off with the X, which is this one. X lead. And there's a little, little lug there. So it'll only, it, it matches up with a little lug in here. So it'll only go in one way. Push in firm. Do this little retaining collar up not too tight only do it up with your fingers all right x y match the lugs up push in retaining collar it only takes a few minutes to do this z try not to tangle the cables up Try and keep them Z angles Z finger tight. Now the A isn't required. We're not using the A at the moment. The A axis cable comes on the end of the A axis, so that one doesn't get plugged in until you use it. In fact, if you want to, you can also remove the X and plug the A axis in there and slave the X. I'll show you how to do that at a later date. Okay, calibrator, there we go. This is the little tool setting uh, device. And I'll show you how to use that too. I'm probably on another video now. I'm not gonna have enough room on this one. Now then, light. Careful not to over tighten these and limit limit switches, axes limit switches that is. And the last one, the biggest one, this is the spindle. He goes up here. And he goes in there. Okay, now then, the next cable is your USB cable. Now I, I need a, a little longer one, so this is one of my own. 
he just plugs in. I'll just put him over the other side there. And the mains power, in our case in Australia and most other countries, it's 240 AC. And that one goes in there. And that's a computer type uh, plug, standard computer type plug. So there you go. That's the control box connected up. There is one more plug that we need to put in, and that is the coolant pump plug, and that just plugs in there like that. Okay, so after you've loaded Mac 3 and you've put all the drivers in, um, you need to go into config and motor tuning. Now, in these little boxes down here, you put in this one here, uh, steps per uh, 322.58. Uh, this one here for, loss, for velocity, uh, put in 250. And this one here for acceleration, put four. Now you do that for the three axes. Okay, now that is enough to get you, you going. So here you are, it's all working and fairly accurate within a 0.2 of a millimeter or so. Uh, now if you go to my YouTube tube channel, uh, go into uh, videos and uh, you go to video number 198. Now in there I go into great detail of how to um, perform uh, accuracy te uh, testing and adjustments within Mac 3 with your CNC machine. Uh, I do do it on a, a SIG mini mill that I converted, but uh, the process is exactly the same. So um, there's that. And um, you have a working CNC. 6040 straight out of the box on USB straight onto a laptop computer. Well there you have it. So the next couple of videos now um, I will give this little mini this little 6040 um, some things to machine. Well I hope you like uh, the video today of the unboxing and the simple plug and play of 6040. And it really is the Rolls Royce version or model of the 6040 CNC Rotor World. So um, next video, well, we'll give it something to do. Uh, we'll cut some something on here, not sure what yet. Um, it's probably going to take me a, a few days to organize that because I, uh, I'm quite busy this week. But we'll get it to you as soon as I can. Uh, thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got two channels now. I've got um, th this channel, CNC Writing and Wood Turning channel. And um, also I have a second channel which is uh, for lasers. So um, thank you for joining me and uh, it's bye for now.